Joined now in the Harvey Norman Lounge by Beauty EQ's editor Trudy Brewer. Good morning. Good morning, Mel. And we're talking concealers today. I know, and I had about five hours sleep last night, so I have a lot on. And you know what? You can't even tell. You look fresh <laughs> as a daisy. Um, concealer's something very near and dear to my heart because I've always had dark circles mm. under my eyes, so something mm. I've used pretty much since I was a teenager. First mm. up, let's talk about the difference between a corrector and a concealer, not okay. the same thing. Not the same thing. So a corrector actually takes away the darkness under the, under the eyes or um, a lot of people have redness, you know, yeah. that they want to correct around the nose area. So depending on the colour, it'll actually take away the uneven colour and then you would apply a concealer over the top. Oh, so for all these years, I've just been layering more yeah. concealer on. That's been the wrong thing to do. Yeah, and I think women do that. And what happens is they look in the mirror and they think I've got way too much makeup on because they've put on the concealer that doesn't have any colour correcting pigments in it. Um, yes, it's like a, it's a little bit thicker in consistency than a foundation, but mm. it actually just doesn't do the work to correct. So what do you apply first, corrector or concealer? Always corrector. Mm -hmm. So I would put on a, a primer under my foundation after a moisturiser, then the corrector, then your concealer. And you know what? Often I will just get away with a light powder then, not have to wear foundation at all, which is quite nice. And you've got a video for us. That I shows have a double little do video. Excellent. Yeah. So this month particularly, Bobbi Brown had a real focus on layering your correctors and concealers. Mm -hmm. So I went to learn the real deal on how to apply concealer. So now, what, what is your best concealer tip then? Always apply an eye cream first, because a lot of women apply makeup under the eye area and it's naturally quite dry because mm. we don't have any oil glands there. So always apply an eye cream. Then the, the neutralising of that darkness and redness with a peach tone corrector. Oh, okay. And then you add the concealer and or foundation. And I generally use a corrector and a mineral powder or a corrector concealer and a mineral powder and just get away with wearing a very light makeup. Because I thought it was like a purple colour that you put on to correct the dark circles. There are. There are purple and, and uh, green. The purple takes away the darkness and the green takes away the redness to counteract that. You mm -hmm. need to be a little bit careful with those um, coloured concealers though because without knowing what you're doing you can look like you've got purple <laughs> under your eyes. Yeah. So so it's only a tiny, tiny little bit. And not what we want. So which are the products that you brought in for us today? Well, the first up is the corrector, the Bobbi Brown little corrector. Um, a light peach. Now, I guessed your shade because I thought getting up early in the morning for your breakfast gig, I thought I guessed your shade. So that's a light peach. A lot of people are scared of that colour peach. They think, oh, it's going to look really awful on my skin. It's not my skin tone. Okay. But it actually corrects the darkness and blends seamlessly. So I put that on first. And then you would layer over the concealer, which is I've bought the matching Bobbi Brown concealer in there. Um, so so you would layer that on over the top, which is just a neutral. And you know, with a concealer, the idea is to choose the exact colour of your skin tone, not lighter not or darker. Not lighter? Not lighter or darker. A lot of women use a very light concealer and if they've got bags under their eyes, that will really accentuate it because the lightness brings forward you are really and the darkness recedes. So try and go for a colour exactly the same, particularly with bags, because if you're trying to correct puffiness mm -hmm. and you put a lighter concealer on it actually exaggerates Oops, it. Oops, so quickly tell me about this one. So Let's that's just a little pro kit from MAC that I bought into which is really clever. Mm -hmm. That one, you can see I've used that one, you can blend your own shade because not a lot, of, a lot of women have different tones under the eye area. There might be darkness um, or, or lightness so you can blend your own shade, customise right. your own shade. Um, Touche Clar YSL, celebrating 25 years I bought that in. Now that is a concealer and a highlighter. So my favourite trick was with that one is just a little bit on the inside corner of the eye or above the brow. And you can put it down on your chin, can't you? Yes. I've been or reading the on the, the cupid's brochure. bow. Yeah, it was really nice. I've been swearing by that for years. And what about this one, finally? Well, that's my little budget buy that I thought we have to have to talk about. It's new. It's in the infallible range for L'Oreal Paris. That is where you're talking about having the, um, purple the purple and the green correctors in there too. I always blend those together with the beige tones though, because you don't want to look like you're wearing purple or green eyeshadow under your eyes. Yeah, don't. Excellent. That has been incredibly informative Aww, today, as usual. Thank you. Thank you so much, Trudy. Now, for more You're from welcome. Trudy from her website, you can go to uh, get more of Trudy's tips from beautyeq.co.nz.